Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. Hello everyone, this is Daughter Darkness, and this video is slightly different. It's not really something that I kind of generally do on my channel, where it's just kind of a hype video. Um, but... Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix with the Collector's Edition announced uh, the other day. I just... It just reminded me how hyped I am for this game. I'm probably more hyped for it than I am for Kingdom Hearts 3 at the moment because I know how close it is. It is um, four weeks away from its European release, even less than that, away from its American release. Um, but, you know, I've seen a lot of people kind of over the past few weeks and months where they've been sort of... Um, these are people who are, you know, they're fans of Kingdom Hearts, but they're not fans quite to the level that some of us are. That's fine, you know, not everyone has to be completely fanatical about Kingdom Hearts. You know, they're appreciated just as much as we are. But uh, they seem to be thinking that this is just a port of old games, which is what I've seen a few people say. Um, but while that is an important part of it, it is a HD remaster, um, it's great that we're going to be able to see these great games that we've loved for so long at their most beautiful ever. That is only part of the story, and that's only part of the reason why I am hyped for it. So we might as well go for the, uh, you know, just go game by game, and why, well there's new features in the game which are making me really excited for it, and they're why you should be excited as well. If you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts, and you have a PS3, or even if you don't, you can get one, um, if you have that money. The, the, this is a must-buy for any Kingdom Hearts fan. They're not just ports of old games. So, for Kingdom Hearts 2, what a lot of people who aren't like big Kingdom Hearts fans don't know, um, is that this is not Kingdom Hearts 2 in its original form. This is the final mix version which was re originally released in Japan alone in 2006, I believe. The same year that the rest of the world got in Hearts 2. And this is coming to Europe, North America, and the rest of the power regions for the first time ever in December. And these are some of the features which are really exciting. If you just think of the story, there are some new cutscenes, which is pretty good to see. Um, you know, a couple which kind of relate it to 358 Days Over 2, which story base was an excellent game. Uh, but also we get a Roxas boss battle. If you remember, um, if you play Kingdom Hearts 2, there is a point at the start of the world that never was, where Sora and Roxas have a fight, and that was just a cutscene. In the final mix version, you actually fight Roxas. Um, additionally, onto that, you get the absent silhouettes, which are kind of like remnants of the people who died in Rechain of Memories. So, Vexen, Zexion, uh, Lexius, Larxene, and Marluxia. You get to fight all of those again. In fact, you get to fight them all again twice, because the Organization 13 data battles, whenever you beat their real-life equivalent, or the absent silhouette, you unlock a data battle, which is a lot harder, which you can find in the Cavern of Remembrance, which is a huge area in Radiant Garden, where you can explore and go through, and in the end you get the um, room where that you can put, fight all 13 members of Organization 13, which I'm is just going to be amazing. Also, we have what is considered, by many, to be the hardest boss battle in the Kingdom Hearts series, the Lingering Will. This uh, is related to Birth by Sleep, I won't go into it too much because spoilers. Um, but to fight all of these things, you do have a new weapon or ability in your arsenal which is Limit Form. This gives you the abilities of Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, and it also helps you to unlock dodge roll. So you get the abilities like Ragnarok, and Ars Arcanum, and there are others, but they're the ones I can think of right now. Uh, and there's also a few new mini-games, like the Mushroom 13, which looks fun and challenging, uh, and there's a few new Keyblades. 
I think that, well, in my opinion, Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best game of all time. And in my opinion, that will be replaced by Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, which just has so much extra stuff going for it that it's just going to be incredible, I think. Um, so then we go on to Birth by Sleep. And I can't say much about Birth by Sleep. I don't know what the new features are, really. I know that they've reworked the Mirage Arena to make it a single-player experience. A lot of people are disappointed about that. I can understand why. Um, I can understand why they're disappointed, but I can also understand why Square Enix haven't put the multiplayer in, because it would have taken a lot longer. So I'd like to see sort of how that... Well, not how that's different, but I'd like to see how fun that is. Um, as a single player experience. Also, you get to play it on a console. I know a lot of people like handhelds, but I think Kingdom Hearts, as a big, uh, like a large scale RPG, is something that should be a console thing mainly. I do think that Birth by Sleep should have originally been on the PS3, but that's not really anything to it. But going from the handheld to the console, it's going to be a big step up, and it is just going to feel better. Also, you know, for me, as I've never played it, and it's considered to be one of the best games in the series, in my favourite series of all time, it is the only Kingdom Hearts game that I have not played. I am really looking forward to see what, what all the fuss is about. Um, so, for me, Birth by Sleep is going to be amazing for the fact that... It's basically a new game for me. I know what happens, because I've heard other people talk about it, but it's just going to be so great for me to play it for the first time on my PS3 this year. And then we go to Recoded, finally. Now, this is the biggest difference from its original form. The DS was a pretty good console, but graphically it wasn't brilliant and the reason that they didn't remake this into a full game was because the difference was so big that they would have had to remake the game entirely as they had to do with making rechain of memories after chain of memories um, but there's just going to be such a huge difference in these cutscenes in quality compared to um, what recoded was like on the DS um, also, we get the battle scenes this time. We didn't get them with 1.5 and 3.5a over two days. We get them this time. We've already seen a couple in the trailers, like uh, Sora deflecting a fireball for it that's being shot at him by Hades, and him and Riku just clashing keyblades. Um, and there's ridiculous amounts of new content in this thing. Two thirds of the movie is new, two hours of the three. And there's so much secret stuff that relates to Kingdom Hearts 3. Some of you may already know about it if you've uh, like looked at the Japanese version. I haven't. But there's just going to be so much, and it's going to relate to the game that I've been waiting for forever. Not forever, but for eight years now. So that's just it. Some of the features, there are more. But if I kept going on about it, I'd be here all day. Uh, and I probably could talk all day, but you'd probably get bored of it. So, yeah, that's the reason. These are the reasons why I am so hyped for Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. It is almost certainly going to be incredible. Well, I know it's going to be incredible because it's got Kingdom Hearts 2 in it with extra stuff. And, yeah, if you have a PS3 and if you've played Kingdom Hearts and you liked it, get 2.5. If you haven't got a PS3, then I'm sorry. It may come to PS4 soon. Um, but also, if you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, get 1.5 and 2.5. You're missing out on a lot by not having played it. So yeah, that's it. Basically, just everything that makes me so hyped for Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. Everything that re me makes um, means that you should be hyped for it. So please like this video if you did. What are your thoughts on Kingdom Hearts 2.5? How are you? How hyped are you for it? Um, 
other than that please subscribe to my channel um, and you'll see more Kingdom Hearts content I will be let's playing at least Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix and the plan is to do birth by sleep as well um, follow me on Twitter as always my name is in the description and thank you for watching to dark.